Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. My, my excitement started before I got here. Uh -oh. <laughs> when I ran out of gas on uh, Route 78. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the KLRs never ran out of gas. Exactly. <laughs> so I guess what I did. <laughs> you can make this shit up. My primitive technology, circa year 2000. <laughs> it has uh, that uh, cockpit, uh, you know, the old fashioned stain, you know, when you were young. Right. With the reserve and all that. Right, yeah. I look at it. I'm like, shit, this thing is on reserve. Oh. <laughs> so. What do I do? I lean the motorcycle over to the left side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> start, start up, and then I look, where's the gas? Um, oh, the gas is uh, 100 feet that way. Oh, nice. I, 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 I turn around on the service road of 78, go get traffic, get, exit, get gas, and I come here. <laughs> oh, wow. you got lucky with it. Now, the yeah. question is, did you move the petcock back to uh, regular position? No. This river is moving.
That's something else, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Almost at the road level. How are you? How you doing? All right. All right. Oh, how's it going? It's going. I was uh, I wasn't gonna make it to the stop, so I decided you know what I'll just show up here and I'll join you guys after you know. Good decision. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what's your name? Sunil. Sunil. I'm one of the new guys on right. the on the uh, club. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Val. Val. Oh wow! Well, yeah. I've been seeing your messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you uh, you posted the video, right? Yes. From the solstice. You saw it? I, um, yeah, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good video. I mean, I... well, this is a beautiful ride. Walter chose some real nice off roads to go on. Mixed a mixed surface ride. I I was a little wondering about this switchbacks as we were going up. It was getting a little muddy. I didn't know how washed out it was going to be, but yeah. we all made it real nice. Uh, we did have to turn around on one road because of the the concrete blocks, I couldn't get my bike through it. But other than that, we've been having a good time on these back roads. Uh, the one tunnel we went through that was flooded, we could have taken more water on our bikes than there was in that tunnel. But we don't want to take any more water. No, we didn't want to take more water, but we could have. I think we could have taken, these, these bikes we could have taken up to maybe 10 inches of that, water. That's the uh, area where we stop uh, uh, by the bridge. By the bridge, boy, that was muddy water, I would, I would, that was real high. I would say the... Uh, owners of that house probably nervous because another oh, heavy yeah. rain oh, yeah. and that water will be right at well, the doorsteps. Yeah, well, you would hope that they have flood insurance, but, yeah. you know, you're living right by the river. I'm just glad the bridge wasn't starting to move while we were stopped on it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, like, I was thinking, good point. Hello, you slackers. <laughs> Where the hell was everybody? <laughs> Good ride, kind of steamy, uh, getting warm enough that I'm going to be splitting from here, but a uh, good ride to get here. A little bit of water, I hope the uh, uh, videos uh, capture how fast running the water was, and I hope you guys have a good time at the uh, at the show. That, that water just high enough before the road got closed. Yes, and I'm sure the road was probably closed. The one road we bypassed that we didn't take was Ravine Road. Uh, those of you that know it know how close to the river it actually is. And uh, a number of years ago, Felipe and I took it, and I think I almost wound up in the river, and I think Felipe did too. The uh, path through the road, as what it was at the time, uh, was about uh, 14 or 15 inches wide. And uh, it had water on the river on each side of that little uh, path down the middle. But we got through it, uh, but I wasn't going to do it today because I'm sure it would have been at least as bad.
we can follow Walter's route? Probably not. Let's but just do the whatever route straight to the show then. Well, listen, this is good for my movie. Huh? So this is all this uh, rug got washed up on the river, right? Yeah, Over the river. Crazy, yeah, the bridge up yeah, there yeah. where they're working, they took the bridge down and they get it in the okay. Oh my god. Yeah, the foundation so underneath is all eroded, so they're yeah. gonna have to fill all that so back in. It's not just a matter of paving, uh -huh. they gotta fix the foundation yeah. underneath. You've never seen it. Well, you know, you live here yeah. all your life, yeah. right? Yeah. That's yeah. Never. Uh, that's yeah. what I've seen it on TV, right? Yeah, it's always somebody else. Glad you guys are okay. I will see you, Jack. Down. All right, yes. thank you. All the rock got washed off the mountain and wound up in this low spot. That is a lot of rock. So you're gonna show us your imaginary friends now, right? Oh yeah. Let's got, do it. I have two imaginary friends. Two imaginary Whoa. friends. Oh. Well let's see. Let's okay. see. Surprise me. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad I didn't have my picture up underneath that tree, huh? Wow. That's a lock split, huh? Jim. 
Yeah, log splitter. How about that? That's a log splitter. Yeah, it's hooked up to splitting logs. That's the old technology stuff, huh? Yep. Ours was a seven or yeah, a seven horse polar engine in it. And uh I mean it was I know when I was eleven years old, so it was nineteen sixty two, I was right. So they're older than this than these guys. These are sixty five. Okay, it looks like it's dad. Oh, yeah. 